Inspirational Creatives, episode 284. Welcome to Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence. Join me every Friday as I chat with successful artists, producers, and creative entrepreneurs who share powerful stories and strategies. They can help you to create the life that you want. Listen each week as these inspirational creatives show you how to take your creativity to the next level. You'll learn how to create a sustainable business that inspires others and gives you the financial freedom and lifestyle that you want. Thanks for listening. Make sure you sign up at inspirationalcreatives.com to get free exclusive bonus material. And now on with the show. Rob here and welcome to this short action episode on Inspirational Creatives. In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you the wisdom, thoughts and ideas of Aaron Nace, photographer extraordinaire and founder of Photoshop and Lightroom training platform Flurn. That's spelt with a P-H. Aaron's going to teach us how he and how we can grow our creative businesses by consistently and persistently creating quality content, whether we are creating pieces of art, bits of code or maybe some other product or service based upon our creative talents. Now, if you're new to Inspirational Creatives, I'm excited to let you know that you can now listen back to every single episode that's been published on this podcast for free through the new Inspirational Creatives app, which is available to you through your favourite smartphone app store. And indeed on the web, you just go to inspirationalcreatives.com and head over to the podcast button and look for Get the App. There you will find every single guest and every single episode since this podcast launched in 2014 and you can listen to those conversations and those short action episodes just like this one for free. Every so often on a Friday, I publish for you an exclusive interview with someone I believe will inspire you to make positive changes in your life and creative business towards creating the work and lifestyle you want. Each following Wednesday, I publish a short action episode following the interview, just like this one, which focuses in on a small yet powerful piece of wisdom that I hope you can easily implement into your life and business with a noticeable positive change. Now, many of those that I work with will know that I bang on about being consistent in everything you do. Ironically, there are times like with this very podcast where it actually pays to be consistently inconsistent. But that's a conversation for another day. Today, I've got the pleasure of sharing with you some of Aaron Nace's wisdom, which I believe will help us to better understand the importance of consistency and being persistent in our creative work and output, not just for the benefit of others, but for ourselves too. Before we get stuck in, I had a two-part interview with Aaron from Flurn, and I want to share with you a clip from episode 283, which is part two of my chat with Aaron, which you can find on inspirationalcreatives.com, where Aaron shares some of the secrets to his success when he was building Flurn over the last number of years, which curiously he built by bootstrapping without the support and assistance of external funding and investors. At the end of the day, it's just like, just keep it going. You know, like that's one thing that I early on, I learned very early on as a photographer. I started a 365 day self-portrait project that I released on Flickr.com. This was my, this is my very early start into photography. And the goal again was to just to post the best possible photo I could every single day for a year. And from that year, we got a lot of great images. We got a lot of images that are totally okay. And then some of the, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember that day. You know what I mean? Producing that much content kept me going. It, it kept me getting as creative as I possibly can. And it drove me to create better and better content on a daily basis. And it also helped everyone understand like what I was going through and follow along for the journey. It helped me build a community of people as well. So Aaron learned from very early on as a photographer that by consistently producing self-portrait photos on Flickr.com over the course of a year, on a daily basis, 365 days in that year, he found that the process of doing this helped him to drive the quality of his work forward, as well as consistently creating an audience for his business. And by the way, a great piece of wisdom I learned recently is that sometimes it's better to create the market first, that's the audience or a community, then develop a new product, service or offering. During the year of producing a photo every single day, Aaron realised that the quality of his work varied greatly, but that didn't matter in terms of engagement because it gave his growing audience a journey to follow as a photographer. It allowed him to evaluate what resonated with them as his audience grew. 
Most importantly, his goal was to produce the best image that he could on a daily basis with the limited time and resources available to him. And of course, that pushed his own creative boundaries and over time pushed the quality of his work in the right direction. Creating consistent quality content is, in my experience, the one thing that has kept us going over the years. It's never been about some like, oh, yeah, we have this like crazy, cool analytics platform or like, yeah, we have this like super cool strategy or like, you know what I mean? Like, it's never been. I think when I thought about business, it's like, oh, yeah, you, you just get like the right deal going on or like market something in the right way or like, you know, use this language or that and stuff like that. That's what I thought business was about. But at the end of the day, my current understanding of my business anyway is like give people something of value keep providing as much value as you possibly can i I really feel like the more value you put out there the more you're going to get back and it's it's as simple as that the one thing that has kept his highly creative organization going over the last few years has been to give value and aaron achieves this by consistently creating quality content in my mind this goal or these goals are twofold Externally, the aim is to give value to the customers and to the wider community. And internally, the aim is to consistently create the best content possible with the resources and budget, i.e. time and money, available. It's the internal aim that achieves the external aim of delighting customers by consistently providing valuable content. Now, you might be listening to this thinking, actually, to produce and publish a photo, let alone any content like an organisation that Flern does, consistently, 365 days a year, is quite a challenge. And I would agree. So in episode 283, I asked Aaron what his best advice would be for anyone starting out today with the aims we've just discussed in mind. Here's what he had to say. I would say focus on good content and don't give up. Things can get hard, you know, it, it really is about persistence. And when it looks like everything is going to go under, when things aren't looking, you know, <laughs> when the dark times arrive, <laughs> you know, just keep going. Mm. It's time to double down. It's time to face those things, those dark times and, and just push forward. It It's going to happen years and years you may experience years of absolute growth and 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 not much hardship and then you might come across a time in your personal life or the business life when when everything seems like it's uh you know it's gonna fail but do your best to push through those times aaron suggests focusing on good content and not giving up any worthy creative pursuit will almost inevitably attract challenging circumstances aaron recommends doing your best to push through the more difficult times Of course, if you don't really believe in your idea, you won't want to do this. You might want to re-qualify what it is that you're doing with yourself or with those that you trust or maybe a market or an audience. But just because things are getting tough doesn't mean you should give up. I imagine many days into Aaron's 365 day photo challenge, he was finding that at times it got tough, but he didn't give up. He kept going and persistently remained consistent towards his original aims. On that note, here's a final piece of wisdom from Aaron for today's short action episode. Once you find your core values and the core of what you do as a business, if you find that it's not working as well or as quickly as you want, it might not be time to diversify. I think that a lot of people get into the idea of like, okay, our business does this. Like there's a a restaurant kind of close to my house that was like a macaroni and cheese restaurant, you know. Mm. And, um, just watching this restaurant over the years after a while, they put like ice cream up in the window, like we're an ice cream shop now. And then they're like, we're a, we're a beef steak. You know, like we have these like, uh, Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago. Like we're an Italian beef place now. And then, you know, like we're this other place now and watching this happen. I I'm like reminded of what I've done over the last years. And it's like, okay, maybe this thing isn't working. It's like, okay, I'm this other thing now. And now I'm this other thing. Now I'm this other thing. But at the end of the day, had I just doubled down and said, like, you know what? We're going to do this thing the best in the world. Like, we're going to be the best in the world at this. Mm. That's more powerful than saying, like, hey, we kind of do a bunch of things uh, 
kind of okay. It's way better to be known for something than it is to be, you know, just kind of like playing around in, in a bunch of different areas. Aaron suggests that when things get tough, to not keep changing what it is you do. If you believe passionately in serving an audience or market in a particular way, sometimes the best thing to do is to stick to your guns when things get tough and not deviate away from your original aims. Of course, there are many exceptions to this, depending on what stage you're at. But Aaron has seen, just like the restaurant described in this story, too many people deviate from the good path that they were on because things got hard. Giving up is not always the right course of action. In summary, I think what Aaron is saying here is that by consistently taking action on a daily basis towards our creative aims, we improve the quality of what it is we have to offer. At the end of the day, according to Aaron, it comes down to persistence. I'll leave you with one final piece of wisdom, this time from personal and professional development coach and guru, Anthony Robbins. I happened to find a book of his in a waiting room, quite coincidentally, as I was making this short action episode for you, and I opened it up on a page about persistence in what looked like quite a dated book called Giant Steps, Small Changes to Make a Big Difference. And if not even more coincidentally, it's a book about 365 daily lessons in self-mastery bit like what Aaron was talking about earlier. Anyway, on day 23, Anthony Robbins had this to say. If your first attempt at achieving your goals seems futile, should you move on and do something else? Absolutely not. Persistence overshadows even talent as the most valuable resource in shaping the quality of life. After all, no one ever achieved a goal by being interested in its achievement. One must be committed. Isn't it possible that short-term failures may actually provide you with the necessary insights or distinctions to create an even greater success in the future? Of course. As you look back now over your unsuccessful attempts in the past, what have you learned? How can you use these insights to create great success now and in the future? I hope the wisdom shared with you in this short action episode today resonated with you. Let me know by sending me an email rob at inspirationalcreatives.com. I'd love to hear from you. And join me again soon for another interview on inspirationalcreatives.com. Don't forget to subscribe through your favourite podcasting app and maybe take a look at the Inspirational Creatives app on your favourite smartphone app store. Thanks for listening and I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for listening. Nothing beats the stories and advice of an expert to help you raise your creative game. I would love to know what you thought about today's episode, so don't forget to subscribe in iTunes where you can rate and review the show. If you like this episode, I invite you to share it on Facebook or Twitter with the one person you know who will benefit from the wisdom shared here today. You can find the show notes on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast. If you have a burning question or a great idea for a guest, head on over to inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact where you can connect with me there. 